De Havilland Aircraft Company Limited was a British aviation manufacturer established in late 1920 by Geoffrey de Havilland at Stag Lane Aerodrome Edgware on the outskirts of North London. Operations were later moved to Hatfield in Hertfordshire. Known for its innovation, de Havilland were responsible for a number of important aircraft, including the Moth biplane which revolutionized general aviation in the 1920s, the 1930s Fox Moth, the first commercial transport able to operate without government subsidy, the wooden World War II Mosquito multi-role aircraft, and the passenger jet service pioneering Comet. The de Havilland Company became a member of the Hawker Siddeley Group in 1960, but lost its separate identity in 1963. Today it is part of Bay Systems plc, the British aerospace and defence business. History Topic. Origins In January 1920 Geoffrey de Havilland was working for Airco as technical director and chief designer. BSA bought Airco on 20 January 1920 from George Holt Thomas on the say-so of one BSA director, Percy Martin, having done inadequate due diligence. Within days BSA discovered Airco's true circumstances and shut it down in July 1920. The resulting losses were so great BSA was unable to pay a dividend for the next four years. With Thomas's help de Havilland took modest premises at the nearby Stag Lane Aerodrome and formed a limited liability company, de Havilland Aircraft Company Limited, incorporated 26 September 1920. The directors were de Havilland, Arthur Edwin Turner, who had come from the War Office, and Chief Engineer Charles Clement Walker. Nominal capital £50,000, the real capital was from Geoffrey de Havilland, £3,000 and George Holt Thomas, £10,000, with various others adding a further £1,000. Banking on an order worth about £2,500 originally intended for Airco de Havilland brought his close-knit team in from Airco, friends Charles Clement Walker, Aerodynamics and Stressing, Wilfred E. Nixon, Company Secretary, Francis E. N. St. Barb, Business and Sales, and, from Airco's Experimental Department, Frank T. Horrell, Works Manager. Hugh Burroughs went to the Gloucester Aircraft Company. The fledgling enterprise was lucky to be approached the next year by a man wanting a new aeroplane built for him, Alan Samuel Butler. He invested heavily in the business. The first year's turnover was £32,782 and net profit £2,387 and in early 1922 they bought Stag Lane Aerodrome for £20,000. They survived until 1925 when de Havilland's own design, the Moth, first flown the 22nd of February 1925, proved to be just what the flying world was waiting for. In 1928 de Havilland Aircraft Company Limited went public, initially de Havilland concentrated on single and two-seat biplanes, continuing the DH line of aircraft built by Airco but adapting them for airline use, but then they introduced a series of smaller aircraft powered by de Havilland's own Gypsy engines. These included the Gypsy Moth and Tiger Moth. These aircraft set many aviation records, many piloted by de Havilland himself. Amy Johnson flew solo from England to Australia in a Gypsy Moth in 1930. The Moth series of aeroplanes continued with the more refined Hornet Moth, with enclosed accommodation, and the Moth Minor, a low-wing monoplane constructed of wood. 
One of de Havilland's trademarks was that the name of the aircraft type was painted on using a particularly elegant Roman typeface, all in capital letters. When there was a strike at the plant, the artisans who painted the name on the planes used the same typeface to make the workers protest signs. The DH-84 Dragon was the first aeroplane purchased by Aer Lingus in 1936. They later operated the DH-86B Dragon Express and the DH-89 Dragon Rapide. De Havilland continued to produce high-performance aircraft including the twin-piston engine DH-88 Comet Racer, one of which became famous as the winner of the Macrobertson Air Race from England to Australia in 1934. Topic. Second World War The high-performance designs and wooden construction methods culminated in the Mosquito, constructed primarily of wood which avoided use of strategic materials such as aluminium during the Second World War. The company followed this with the even higher-performing Hornet fighter, which was one of the pioneers of the use of metal wood and metal-metal bonding techniques. An undocumented bombing occurred during this time period in which a German bomber plane dropped eight bombs on the factory. Some people made it to a bomb shelter in time, yet others were not so fortunate. In 1937, de Havilland set up a factory in Lowstock to produce aircraft propellers for the war effort. The factory is commemorated in the road named de Havilland Way in Horwick. Topic. Post war After the Second World War, de Havilland continued with advanced designs in both the military and civil fields, but several public disasters doomed the company as an independent entity. The experimental tailless jet powered de Havilland DH 108 Swallow crashed in the Thames estuary killing Jeffrey de Havilland Jr., son of the company's founder. A large additional aircraft factory was acquired in 1948 at Howarden Airport at Broughton near Chester, where production supplemented the Hatfield output. The de Havilland Comet was put into service in 1952 as the eagerly anticipated first commercial jet airliner, twice as fast as previous alternatives and a source of British national pride. The Comet suffered three high-profile crashes in two years. Equally disastrous was the in-flight breakup of the DH-110 prototype during the 1952 Farnborough Air Show, which also killed members of the public. Because of the structural problems of the Comet, in 1954 all remaining examples were withdrawn from service, with de Havilland launching a major effort to build a new version that would be both larger and stronger. This, the Comet 4, enabled the de Havilland airliner to return to the skies in 1958. By then the United States had its Boeing 707 jet and the Douglas DC-8, both of which were faster and more economical to operate. Orders for the Comet dried up. Hawker Siddeley bought de Havilland in 1960 but kept it as a separate company until 1963. In that year it became the de Havilland division of Hawker Siddeley Aviation and all types in production or development changed their designations from D.H. to H.S. See Hawker Siddeley Trident and Bay 125. The famous D.H. And the de Havilland name live on, with several hundred moths of various types and substantial numbers of many of the company's other designs still flying all over the world. De Havilland returned to the airline world in 1962 with a three engine jetliner, the DH 121 Trident. However, the design was modified to be smaller to fit the needs of one airline British European Airways. 
Other airlines found it unattractive and turned to a rival trijet, the Boeing 727 which was much the same size as the initial DH-121 design. De Havilland built only 117 Tridents, while Boeing went on to sell over 1,807 727s. De Havilland also entered the field of long-range missiles, developing the liquid-fueled Blue Streak. It did not enter military service but became the first stage of Europa, a launch vehicle for use in space flight. In flight tests, the Blue Streak performed well. But the upper stages, built in France and Germany, repeatedly failed. In 1973, the Europa program was cancelled, with Blue Streak dying as well. The last of them wound up in the hands of a farmer who used its fuel tanks to house his chickens. Topic. Products Topic aircraft biplanes De Havilland biplane number no. one De Havilland biplane number no. two Airco DH.12 seat pusher scout Airco DH.2 pusher scout Airco DH.3 twin engine bomber Airco DH.4 single engine bomber Airco DH. 4A Transport Airco DH.5 Scout Airco DH.6 Trainer Airco DH.9 Single Engine Bomber Airco DH. 9A Westland Development of the DH.9 with Liberty Engine Airco DH. 9C Conversion of DH.9 to Passenger Transport Airco DH. 9J Re Engine DH.9 with Radial Engine Airco DH.10 Amiens Twin Engine Bomber DH.11 Oxford Long Range Twin Engine Day Bomber DH.12 Unbuilt Proposed Derivative of DH.11 DH.14 Okapi Single Engine Bomber DH.15 Gazelle Experimental Flying Test Bed DH.16 Four Passenger Airliner Similar to DH.9 CDH.188 Passenger Airliner DH.18 0.27 Derby Single Engine Long Range Day Bomber DH.34 DH.37 DH.42 Dormouse DH.42 A and B Dingo DH.48 Special Re Engine DH.9 DH.50 DH.51 DH.54 Highclear DH.56 Hyena DH.60 Moth, Cirrus Moth, Genet Moth, Gypsy Moth DH, 60 G3 Moth, Major DH.61 Giant Moth DH.65 Hound DH.66 Hercules 3 Engined Biplane Airliner DH.67 DH.72 Canberra DH.82 Tiger Moth Biplane Trainer DH.83 Fox Moth DH.84 Dragon DH.86 Express DH.87 Hornet Moth DH.89 Dragon Repeat DH.90 Dragonfly DH.92 Dolphin Glider DH.52 Piston Engined Monoplanes DH.29 Doncaster 10 Passenger Airliner DH.53 Hummingbird Ultralight Monoplane DH.71 Tiger Moth Racer DH.75 Hawk Moth DH.77 Lightweight Fighter DH.80 Puss Moth DH.81 Swallow Moth DH.85 Leopard Moth DH.88 Comet Racer DH.91 Albatross 4 Engined Airliner DH.93 Don DH.94 Moth Minor Monoplane Trainer DH.95 Flamingo Twin Engined Airliner DH.98 Mosquito and 
C Mosquito A highly successful wooden fighter bomber of World War II DH.103 Hornet and Sea Hornet twin engined fighter DH.104 Dove and Devon twin engined airliner DH.114 Heron 4 engined airliner De Havilland Technical School designs De Havilland TK1 De Havilland TK2 De Havilland TK4 De Havilland TK5 Civil and Military Jet Transports DH.106 Comet DH.121 Trident Later the HS Trident DH.125 Later the HS.125 DH.146 Later the Bay.146 Military Jets DH.100 Vampire and Sea Vampire 1945 DH.110 Sea Vixen 1959 DH.112 Venom 1952 C Venom DH.113 and DH.115 Vampire Two Seaters Experimental Aircraft DH.108 Swallow 1946 Autogyro Sierva C. 24 Topic. Engines Gypsy series of 4, 6 and 12 cylinder piston engines Ghost turbojet Goblin turbojet Gyron Jr. turbojet Gnome turboshaft Sprite rocket Topic. Weapon systems Missiles Firestreak air-to-air -air missile Blue Streak ballistic missile Spacecraft Blue Streak satellite launch vehicle Topic. Subsidiaries Topic. De Havilland, Canada De Havilland Aircraft of Canada Limited was formed in 1928 to build moth aircraft for the training of Canadian airmen and continued after the war to build its own design suited to the harsh Canadian environment. The DHC-2 to DHC-7 aircraft were all stole designs. DHC spent a stint as a Canadian Crown Corporation, then as a subsidiary of Boeing, then back as a Crown Corporation. De Havilland, Canada was eventually incorporated into the Bombardier Group of Companies and the Dash 8 remains in production with a particular emphasis being placed on its quiet operation in comparison to other aircraft of a similar size. In May 2005, Bombardier sold the rights to the out-of-production aircraft, DHC-1 through DHC-7, to Viking Air Limited of Sydney, British Columbia. In November 2018, Viking Air parent Longview Aviation Capital Corp. acquired the Dash 8 program and the de Havilland brand from Bombardier, in a deal expected to close by the second half of 2019. In January 2019, Longview announced that it would establish a new company in Ontario, reviving the de Havilland Aircraft Co. of Canada name. Topic. De Havilland Australia The first overseas subsidiary was set up in Australia in March 1927 as de Havilland Aircraft Thai Limited. The company moved from Melbourne to Sydney during 1930 where it acted as an agency for the parent company, with assembly, repair and spares facilities for the company's popular sporting and airliner types. Aircraft design and full manufacture by de Havilland Australia, DHA, did not take place until the Second World War, when the company began production of the DH-82 Tiger Moth primary trainer at Bankstown, NSW. 
During the Second World War, DHA designed a small troop-carrying glider to be used if Australia was invaded by Japan. The DHG-1 emerged in mid-1942 and used the DH-84 Dragon forward fuselage, 87 of which were in production at the same factory as navigational trainers. The two built served as prototypes for the definitive DHG-2 produced the following year but the need had passed by this time and only six DHG-2s were built. The company also began to manufacture the Mosquito, with deliveries to the RAAF being first made in 1944. A total of 212 mosquitoes were built at Bankstown between 1943 and 1948. Some of these aircraft continued in RAAF service until 1953. Licensed production of the de Havilland Vampire began in 1948, with the first of 190 built flying in 1949. Another DHA design, the de Havilland Australia DHA-3 Drover, was manufactured between 1948 and 1953. Only 20 were produced, mostly for the Royal Flying Doctor Service RFDS, Trans Australia Airlines and Qantas. The DHA-3 Drover was a three-engined light transport derived from the DH-104 Dove, capable of carrying six eight passengers. It was designed as a replacement for the DH-84 Dragon, which was common in Australia due to its wartime production by DHA. The engine chosen for the new design was the de Havilland Gypsy Major MK-10 Fours. Several drovers were later re-engined with more powerful Lycoming O360 horizontally opposed engines to improve performance. In 1959 a boat building division known as de Havilland Marine was established at the Bankstown factory. The de Havilland Australia concern is now owned by Boeing Australia and is known as Hawker de Havilland Aerospace. On 6 February 2009, Boeing announced that Hawker de Havilland changes its name to Boeing Aerostructures Australia. DHG-1 DHA-G-2 DHA-3 Drover Topic. De Havilland New Zealand To meet the demand for Tiger Moth trainers for the Royal New Zealand Air Force and potentially for RAF training to be conducted in New Zealand, the de Havilland New Zealand Company Limited was established in March 1939, and work commenced on New Zealand's first aircraft factory at Rongatai. After World War II, the company undertook maintenance and refurbishment work until taken over by Hawker Siddeley International NZ Limited in 1964. The site of the factory is now part of Wellington International Airport. Topic: De Havilland engines. As well as a prolific aircraft builder, de Havilland was also a significant producer of aero engines. This went against usual practice, usually engines are designed and produced by a dedicated company though in the UK the Bristol Aeroplane Company had a substantial engine business and Armstrong Whitworth Aircraft was part of the same business as Armstrong Siddeley the successful Gypsy. And the later developments such as the Gypsy Major were successful and popular power units, being used in nearly all of de Havilland's light designs and several aircraft from other manufacturers. Gypsy engines were relatively unusual by the 1930s, 40s because they were inline engines, at a time when radial or opposed action engine layouts were more popular. The de Havilland Company was also a competitor to Rolls-Royce and Metrovic in the early years of jet engine development. 
Employing the services of Frank Hafford then buying out his company they produced the de Havilland Goblin and de Havilland Ghost engines for first their jet fighters then the Comet. Topic. De Havilland propellers A company set up in 1935 for the manufacture of Hamilton Standard propellers under license, and which later produced guided and other missiles such as the Fire Streak and Blue Streak. Topic. Key technical staff R. E. Bishop, aircraft designer Richard Clarkson, aircraft designer Tony Fairbrother, flight engineer A. E. Hag, aircraft designer Frank Hafford, engine designer Topic. Test pilots Hubert Broad John Cunningham RAF officer Jeffrey de Havilland Jr. John de Havilland Pat Fillingham Bert Hinkler Campbell Mackenzie Richards Topic Legacy The de Havilland Company donated a site to Hertfordshire County Council for educational use. The site was then developed as Hatfield Technical College, which is now the College Lane campus. De Havilland was purchased by Hawker Siddeley in 1960 and merged into British Aerospace in 1978. The Bay site then closed in 1993, and the University of Hertfordshire purchased part of the site for the de Havilland campus. Hatfield's aerospace history is recorded today in the names of local streets, such as Comet Way and Bishop's Rise. In September 2003, the former British aerospace site became the de Havilland campus of University of Hertfordshire. Topic. See also Aerospace industry in the United Kingdom